Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Clay and in today's video, I'm going to be going over my season four settings. I'm not going to bore you guys too much, but if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and also like the video to push it out to others. I'm going to just quickly like go through exactly, well, not exactly why I have everything, just show you guys, I guess. On display mode, this should be full screen exclusive to get the best performance out of your game. I have it on borderless because I like to tab out a lot whenever I'm streaming or whenever I'm just recording or doing something. Uh, aspect ratio should be on automatic, vSync gameplay and vSync menus off. Custom frame rate should be on, or yeah, custom frame rate should be on custom. I heard that if you put it on the unlimited, it runs like the game runs really poorly. I have it on 300 the menu is in 60 and out of focus which means like whenever you tab out it is on 30. um display gamma is should be on 2.2 the brightness which is basically preference i have it on 55. um hdr needs to be off the quality presets i have it on custom so i can change it whenever i want and i know a lot of people like to run this render re uh, resolution on 100 but i like to put it on 80 because i get a lot more frames and i don't really notice i well i ain't gonna lie on 100 it looks really really clean but on 80 it's it's a little blurry but i like to have a little bit more frames uh on your upscaling you should have fidelity cast and put that all the way to 100. okay so anti-aliasing i personally like to have smaa t2x because it does if you look at the bottom right, it does go up five whenever you use Filmic, but I think a lot of people use Filmic. Uh, my texture resolution is low. Texture filter is low. Every, everything should be low if you want the maximum amount of frames. I'm just gonna quickly go down. All right, so over on my FOV, I am on 105. ADS field of view should always be affected. I've seen a lot of AR players use independent, so it's really just preference. Uh, weapon field of view, it should be wide. It makes your weapon a lot smaller or look a lot smaller. Third person's not really too much unless you play third person. All right, so this is really, really important. First person camera movement should be on 50%. Whenever you're playing the game, you notice that the game really likes to jump around a lot. Like whenever nades get thrown at you or just anything happens, your screen moves a lot. But on 50%, it doesn't move too much. On my controller, I'm just going to quickly go down. Most of this is basically preference. My button layout is tactical flipped. So my L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 are flipped. I like to shoot with my R1 and aim with my L1. And it's the same with Warzone. My horizontal stick sensitivity and vertical is 7.7. 7. My ADS sensitivity multiplier is 1. This, I don't really mess around with this too much. I'll just leave it as it is. I left this as it is too. Inbound sight behavior is hold. I definitely would recommend playing on automatic tax sprint. I'll quickly just show you guys this. All right, so over on advanced, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. And it, like, again, it is preference. Target aim assist on. I've seen a lot of people do black ops aim assist type but personally i like default a lot more my aim response curve which a lot of people use this is dynamic and again this is preference and it is based off of my controller so your controller might not be the same i'll just show you guys this and for gyro aiming you guys should copy the same settings i have All right, so your movement behaviors, you wanna have auto move forward off, tactical sprint behavior, single tap run, which is really good. Grounded mantle, I don't really know if this should be on or off. I just keep it out how it is. Automatic airborne mantle should be partial. Automatic ground mantle should be off. And all right, so this setting is very, very important on your invert slide and dive behavior, you want it inverted. So you have to hold to slide and tap to dive. A lot of people use this and a lot of pros use this. Also the same thing with this one, you want to have it on plunge freely. So whenever you like go to jump out of the water, you can do that little, I guess people call it like a little dolphin jump. And I don't really know too much about these three settings. I left these how it, they are. I left this how it is. And I'm pretty sure I left that how it is. 
Um, I can quickly go over my interface, but I don't think I really changed anything. Oh, I did. Okay, this is my um, colorblind settings. I think that's going to do it. Um, I turned my horizontal compass off. I just don't like to see it. I don't think there's no point. I have my crosshair off. I know a lot of people play with crosshairs. I have center dot on. This is just for my FPS counter and latency and my GPU temperature. Here's the rest of my settings if anybody else cares. That's going to do it for my settings. I'll have a gameplay for you guys. Please hit that like button if you enjoy that. And it just helps push the video out to other people looking for settings or just looking for ranked play games. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.